Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another <laughs> moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. Three, two, one, go! I don't get it. Both of our cars are made out of the same Legos. Why doesn't mine work as well as his? Well, it's not always what the materials are made out of so much as it is the design of it. Let's take a closer look at the two of them together. Hey, look, her car has rubber tires on her wheels, but mine are just the plastic. Well, that's a really good observation because tires, rubber tires are really great on cars that we drive. They provide cushion and most importantly, they provide friction. Friction? Yeah, friction is the force that opposes motion. So what happens to a ball after it's rolled? It rolls to a stop. Right. People used to believe that motion was a property, that an object had a certain amount of motion, and when it was used up, the object stopped moving. But then in 1687, Sir Isaac Newton corrected that misconception with his first law of motion. An object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. In other words, the ball starts rolling when you apply a force to it, and it stops rolling because another force acts on it. Friction. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going to test to see if different materials affect the amount of friction. You'll need a ball, a ramp, and some measuring tape. We're going to roll the ball over concrete, carpet, and grass. We're using the ramp to control the amount of force given to the ball so that it always has the same energy as it begins rolling across the surface. We measure the distance the ball rolls, then repeat the rolling two more times and take the average distance. If friction is affected by the material, we should see different distances between the locations with the furthest distance, indicating the least friction. So the ball definitely rolled furthest over the towel. So I guess friction is affected by the materials. That means that the rubber tires may have been affecting my car. Let's remove them and test again. Three, two, one, go! Yes. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>